What is up everyone? My name is Isaiah and I just want to thank you so much for the loving support. We just reached a thousand subscribers already and 91,000 on TikTok. So thank you so much for the support to my friends, my family, beloved supporters, those viewers out there in YouTube and on TikTok. I love you guys so much and for today, we will be answering some of your questions in TikTok re regarding uh, being a BSIT student and also some tech related stuff. I have gathered 10 questions for you guys that I will be answering what are my thoughts on these items. The criteria of choosing this question is that ito yung mga nare-receive ko mostly sa TikTok and also sa YouTube comment section ko. I will be answering them now para mabalikan nyo kapag gusto nyo siyang itanong it sa akin. Para pwede nyo nang balik-balikan at hindi na kayo mag-scroll down ng sobrang haba sa aking feed sa TikTok. Let's answer the questions. Question number one. I study at Technological Institute of the Philippines kasi sa feed at my medal in senior high school. Yes, doon rin po ako nag-senior high. And base sa experience ko with grade 11, grade 12, first year, second year, Four years, four years na ako nasa TIT and I really love the environment. Ang ganda ng facilities, ang ganda ng school, merong mga hangouts, pwede kayong tumambay. Maganda yung mga laboratories nila. Kumbaga, well-maintained ang facilities ng TIT. And I really do appreciate those students na they keep the 5S and try to take care of the school grounds. Ang ganda ng environment. Love the professors because they really try to assist you in your subjects, kung ano man yung subjects na tinake. Kasi ngayon, kasi online learning nga, di ba? Pero they still try to assist you. Depende yan, kung may group chat kayo, they can message you in your group chat and they really are concerned with your grades. Kung kailangan mo maghabol, they will notify you in what you are doing in your grades. Kung medyo med nahuhuli ka sa class, they will try and give you a chance. So, kano tuition fee namin sa TIT? So, it ranges up to 40,000 40, to 50,000 sa BSIT. I wouldn't say specific numbers because it it really depends kung anong year level mo na and kung anong semester. So, kapag tumataas rin yung year level mo, expect mo na rin na tumaas rin yung tuition fee mo kasi more computer related subjects ang um, Mas maganda na rin na kumuha ng scholarship sa it's either academic or sa ibang companies na nag-offer ng scholarships like pwede ka kumuha ng DOST scholarship. Diskartihan mo siya kung para paano bumaba yung tuition fee mo. Question number two that I get a lot. Parati na lang ina-associate ang programming sa gaming. Hmm, I wonder why. Anyways guys, I recommend laptop. First of all, uh, kaya niya nang ibigay yung kaya ng PC. But in a compact manner, depende pa rin yan sa budget mo. If you are looking for a high-powered device, go for a PC, medyo mas mura. Kung baga, pag i-compare mo yung dalawa, ang difference lang nila is yung price and yung compactability ng device. So yung laptop, pwede mo siyang madala kahit saan. Uh, kahit hindi lang dito sa bahay, pwede mo da sa office, pwede mo sa school kapag face-to-face -face na. Pero kasi pag PC guys, dito lang siya sa bahay nyo. Patulad ako, may PC ako. Hindi ko siya madadala. Pero may laptop rin ako, yun yung ginagamit ko for face-to-face -face classes. Ito pa, the price. Yung price naman guys is mas mahal ang laptop, lalo na kapag mataas ang specs. Why? Sa technology, ganito siya. Uh, the smaller the item, since maliliit yung mga chips na nilalagay, yung mga chipsets na nilalagay nila sa loob ng device, it's more expensive. Tapos, gusto mong bumili ng laptop na meron siyang 3060 na graphics card, you'll, there's an average of 70,000 70, above na magagastos nyo for that laptop. And you can get a laptop na meron siguro 1660 Ti na sa range ng 50,000 to 60,000. Uh, what do I recommend the mga laptop brands? Uh, Asus, Lenovo, Acer, Acer yung mga budget nila, like yung Nitro 5, it's okay. But it really depends dun sa research yung. Wow, that is a tough question to answer. Let's answer the part one. So, are there math subjects in BSIT? The answer is, yes, there is math subjects. 
I believe I took up four math subjects. Nakalimutan ko, I'll just display them here. So, four math subjects. Hindrance ba ang mga minors ko? Actually, hindi. Kasi, uh, let's be honest, yung mga minors na yan, in some point in life, magagamit mo rin yan. Let me give you an example. Yung statistics na yan, a math subject, statistics i have i have a statistics subject in second year magagamit ko siya in the sense na pag pumunta ako sa business world at uh, kailangan ko kumuha ng mga data at kailangan ko mag-sort ng mga data yung mga natutunan ko sa statistics na yan is ma-apply ko siya there's a reason kung bakit sinama siya sa curriculum ng PSI it's not a good thing na dapat ko na question niyo bakit ito hindi ko naman siya magagamit there's a reason kung paano mo siya magagamit. And there's a big purpose kung bakit mo siya natutunan sa college level. Yun. How do I answer that question? Managing my time wisely. Like, kapag ako, naglalaro ako ng Axie, so, ate kasi 4 hours mahigit eh. Ngayon, mga nasa 2 hours na lang, natapos na ako doon sa quota ko. Within those 2 hours, matatapos ko siya, then I do some research so that I balance it with my studies and also in my future videos or content. So, yung studies ko, pinagsasabay ko na rin kung ano yung natututunan ko dun sa research ko. Aha, so ganito pala siya. Example, I do content for my TikTok. So, I make sure na itong content na to ay mayroong mapupulot yung mga tao. Hindi lang sila, pati ako, would benefit po. I just manage my time. That's my answer to that. Next question, guys. Oh, that's a big question and actually that's a hard one to answer. Let's be honest, online learning tayo ngayon, yung iba walang kaya or di nila afford bumili ng laptop or computer. Di naman tayo lahat kayang bumili ng PC or uh, laptop. So, what I can suggest is just do your best in your studies. Example, nasa modular kayo, read all of it. Yes, I know it's a pain in the butt but we have no choice. If you have no device, eh, you have you don't have a stable internet connection. You just use data. Uh, what I can suggest is that you just read your module and try to do your best in coping up with your studies. If you have your mobile phone, what I can suggest is go for YouTube tutorials. If you're not satisfied with YouTube tutorials, go to their official uh, website. Example, if you're learning Node. Node.js or Learning React, what I do is I go to their official website and try to read some of their articles. So, yun ang ginagawa ko whenever I learn something new. I do my own research. So, I'm not satisfied in just reading what is given to me, but I invest my time in learning something new that is not being taught by my professor and at the same time, pero na ako mapupulot dun sa mga binabasa ko. Again, to answer that, time management lang and do your own research. Hindi po lahat may tuturo sa modules or sa ating college life. Let's be honest, di ba? Hindi po yun may tuturo lahat. Pero if you do your own research pagdating mo sa industry level, uh, hindi ka na may rapad kasi it's just one click away and the internet is already there. Ma-access mo na. I started in programming when I was in uh, high school. I started in programming when I was in high school. I got interested in learning tech-related stuff. Choice ko yun na mag-learn ng programming in advance as early as that. And pagdating ko nung senior high school, nagamit ko siya in one of the events. It's called a Makerthon competition where we combine hardware and software. So, we developed a program in our senior high school days and we won that competition. It was a program where we developed a parking system. Basically, it's just like a beep card. Beep card system, tapos in-apply mo siya sa parking. So, and macho charge ka na lang every hour. First of all, I pick those people na pinag-re-research ko. Example, I am interested in tech. I follow those people. Example, Linus Tech. Um, Mr. Who's the Boss. Those type of people. Sa mga Filipinos naman, si Filipinos naman, I follow at Isa. Isa does tech. Um, sila ati Mary Bautista. Also, sila um, Tulit Tech Review. Sorry. Nakasearch ko lang pala kanina. And many more na pwede kong i-recommend sa inyo mga YouTubers about tech-related stuff. So, programming naman, wala akong specific 
programmer or na nakikita pagdating sa pagpo-program kasi I read the articles most of most of the time na nagre-research ako. So pumupunta ako sa mga websites na nag na nagki-cater ng magandang topic with regarding sa programming. So example, uh, pwede ka pumunta sa Stack Overflow to to research all about programming and if you have any questions right there, there are lots of programmers out there that can answer those questions for you. Nanong na ng iba, tapos hahanapin mo lang yung mga sagot nila na nasa baba. Sabi ko nga sa inyo guys, lahat yan nasa internet na. Wala nang imposible ngayon sa internet. Pwede nyo na siyang isearch. It's just one click away. Nung senior high school ako, paaral ako sa TIP. Pinipili ko pala ng senior high school ako, make sure ko na yung facilities nila is okay at hindi hindi pangit at makikita nila yung needs ko as a BSIP student. Kumula high school pa lang ako, alam ko na na magiging BSIP student ako. Research ako about different colleges na nakikita na magaling sa engineering, na maganda yung facilities. So, yung, ang sinerge ko is yung background ng school, uh, ilan taon yung survey, ano yung mga accreditation, accreditations nila, and then also, ano yung facilities nila. Like, yung laboratories, kung gaano kaganda yung lugar, at yung community. TIP got me interested na malapit lang siya dun sa location namin. So, it's just one jeepney always. And at the same time, yung facility nung pumasok ako yun, yung nag, nag-tour ako dun sa lugar, napakaganda kasi sobrang liit nung space nung entrance niya, pero pagpasok mo, napakaluwag ng school grounds. And nung chinek ko yung mga laboratories, merong mga comlab, yung mga science laboratories nila sobrang well maintained and yung mga students doon si undergrad ng mga students is sobrang well dressed sila kumbaga law abiding sila so, yun ang reason kung bakit ko pinili ang PIP in where I will be taking up my IT course by the way this is not sponsored by PIP pero promote ko lang yung school ko kasi napakaganda nung kinikater niya guys so things to consider then when you are researching in your university I was planning to take up system analyst in the future para may onting part ng business side and na-understand ko rin kasi yung pagdating sa pagde-develop ng mga system. Kailangan mo rin kasing mag-understand kung paano nag-work ang isang system. So, kaya mo nga sinabi as a system analyst because you have to analyze a lot of things of how you should work and you have to understand the client and also understand kung sino man yung kakausapin mo. Pero no, kasi ang pinitake kong majors is cyber security. Pero, I'm sure naman na consider ko pa rin naman na pakunin yung pagiging system analyst. And, yung mga matututunan ko pa rin naman sa cyber security, ma- ma-a-apply ko pa rin siya sa mga natututunan ko siya sa aking pukuning job in the future. I'm still choosing the future kung ano ba talaga yung ipa- ipaplano ko. Pero, yun yung mga things na kinoconsider ko sa utak ko. System analyst and being a cyber security personnel. What I can suggest is, number one, you must have a willing mind. Kasi, talagang pipigain talaga yung utak mo. In being a BSIT, it will really test your patience sa pagraran ng codes mo kapag when when you are encountering bug fixing project development you will encounter a lot of problems in the future so what i can really suggest is you have to be ready in whatever problem that you will be encountering for academics naman go study fundamentals of programming why would i learn this type of programming language and para saan ba siya at ba't ko siya kailangan sa aking program. So, you have to study those types of things. You have to also advance study because not all of these things are mat- ay matuturo sa college life mo. Some of these things ay matutunan mo lang based sa experience mo. So, do not rely all of your learning sa college mo lang, but also based in experience and on your research. Those are the tips that I can give to you in taking up BSIT. So, sa mga first-year students dyan, God bless po sa inyo and good luck sa iyong mga studies.
So that's it for this video. I hope na marami na naman kayo natutunan sa pagiging BSIT student ko and I hope na may napulot kayo sa aking video. I hope that you leave a like, comment, anything that you want. If you have any video suggestions that you want me to do, wag lang sumayaw and sing in this channel. I will not do those things, please. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you have any suggestions in creating up more content about this IT stuff and other tech reviews, if you have any suggestions that I can review, you can follow me on my social media accounts like Instagram, it's josiahmark917. And in TikTok, you can search for Josiah Does Tech. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech-related contents. This is your host, Josiah Marcastor, and see you on the next episode. Bye guys!